Welcome back everyone. Today we're going over the Wilson Combat Sight Sphere Glock pistol that you see here. I do have the fiber optic front, but they also have a tritium front as well mounted up here on the 19. But just do some shooting with it, let you guys see the sight picture like you already did a little bit in the beginning. And uh, didn't talk about the pros and cons of them if you will, but really not a lot of cons to them. We're mostly going to be pros. Surprisingly, I should note that, you know, Wilson Combat obviously is known for excellent quality. Uh, with that typically comes price because of their quality control that they do, which is obviously excellent. These are very reasonably priced as well, but right now we'll return to uh, rigging the steel a little bit. On Wilson's website, these sites are listed individually, so the front site's listed, then the rear site. However, it's important to note that if you're going to buy just one of them, you want to make sure that the uh, corresponding site that you're working with uh, is the right height, i.e. they do not work with the Glock site. So if you had a Glock rear site and you had just the Wilson front site on there, it'd be too high for it. So you, in my opinion, the best way to go is just purchase the set and you know that the point of impact will be point of aim and vice versa. So the front site here. This is obviously the fiber optic version. This one here is 0.245 inches tall and is 0.125 inches wide. If you're going to have a 45 or 10 millimeter Glock, this is the one you want to go with. Different height for those two, but for all the other calibers, this is the one you're going to want to go with. Uh, it does have nice serrations here across the front to cut down on glare as you're looking across that slide. And um, it's black parkerized finish as well. So um, this is obviously the fiber optic version, but it's available in plain black, uh, gold bead, as well as the tritium version for those of you who want nighttime capabilities. The rear sight here has the Vickers logo on it, as you can see, and it does have a few nice features as well. If you look at the angle here on this ledge, it's not quite 90 degrees, but it works well for doing one-handed manipulations of the weapon, whether it be for clearing malfunctions or doing reload drills. Um, on the back here, you'll see it does have the same 40 lines per inch serrations uh, to cut down on glare again as you're looking across. And you can see that sight picture there. Uh, very nice sight picture. It's 0.145 inches wide, and when paired with that narrow front sight, allows for excellent accuracy when you're shooting it. This one here, obviously, is the plain back black version. There's also a single dot tritium version available. The plain black one here, uh, MSRP, is $49 on it. Those are the details of the sights, but I've said here before that sight preference is largely a personal thing. So some folks like three dots, some folks like a big dot, some folks like uh, I-dot sights or straight eights, whatever you want to call them. So that, that aside, there are certain things that are sort of universal, and one thing that's, in my opinion, universal and will help everyone out if you're talking about accuracy is having that nice narrow front sight. So that nice narrow front sight, especially when you get out beyond 25 yard, yards, really helps with uh, accuracy. Now combine that with the nice wide U-notch rear sight, it does also draw your eye to that front sight for quick target acquisition. So that's really kind of the best of both worlds. I talked about other sites that have similar features here on the channel in the past. Again, I like them. Um, it, it, for my eyes anyway, it definitely aids in both the quick target acquisition as well as precision shooting out to distance. Now, this site, like I mentioned uh, earlier, very reasonably priced, $90 MSRP um, for Wilson Combat quality. You certainly can't complain about that. Uh, pretty simple setup. They work well. I like the height of them coming off the gun, but uh, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions about these sites, anything else I talk about here on the channel, you can always post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always, but thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.